Good morning everyone, welcome back to another video. We are playing in the industrial age and I'm going to do a few attacks today. So it looks like right now I've got a decent amount of all the trade goods and it's time for my boat to come in. So I will take my diamonds because they're the hardest to save. And it looks like my anchor watt is also going to give me five trade goods. Sweet. Alright, so now I've got enough. Everybody's ready. I am using my training blessing, so my troops train in about 20 seconds or 30 seconds total. So I can pretty much afford to blow all my troops on any attack as long as I win, because I can attack again right away. So hopefully we'll be able to find a few attacks in a row <clears throat> and make some progress. Alright, so industrial age, only worth one, not a lot of loot. Not really worth attacking for me. <laughs> Man, I had an attack I did a few minutes ago, and I ended up losing 39 medals from it. Only because I didn't pay attention that there was a forbidden city in the corner, and I killed the town center and exited out. And wouldn't you know it, I wasn't paying attention. Ended up being a loss. That sucked. Alright, so I'm going to attack this guy. It looks like it's easy to get. So, oh, there's already a hole in the wall. He's awesome. All right, so we're killing the town center. Then we just got to get the Forbidden City. I think we'll just drop our cannons over here. They should be able to take that out. I want to get the oil, too. He's got 4,700 oil, and I definitely need oil. Like, all the upgrades I care about require oil. So that is the next goal. All right, let's get the oil and get out of here. All right, so just double check. We did get the victory star. It doesn't have much of the loot, so we're good. 4,670 oil. I like it. All right, our gold is now maxed out, so we're going to have to do something with some of that, I guess. So we're going to train up a new army. Okay, boom. So what should we do with our gold? We do have uh, some free citizens. I guess. Well, we could build an air defense. I don't know, it just seems so insignificant. I think it's better to do an upgrade of some sort. Oh, I don't even have enough gold to upgrade this stable. Oh, we could do the garrison. If we upgrade one garrison, all the defending infantry from the uh, town center get upgraded too. Um, so we can upgrade a garrison, or we could do a cannon tower actually. We might be able to do two of those. Yeah, we can get this going and this. So okay, we're going to do a cannon tower. Oh my god, a week and three days. Brutal. And all right, that leaves me with three free citizens. We'll go ahead and get the ballista tower going too. Okay, there we go. Now I have nobody left to do anything, but I will have a mill upgraded in a day. So I'll have four more citizens. So for now, we will attack again, try and fill up on gold some more. Oh man, I keep forgetting to click on the uh, the upgrade the town center thing. A lot of you have been asking to see what it says. It says global age, but I'll show you the picture in a moment when I get back. All right, industrial age has no oil, doesn't have any diamonds. Definitely not worth attacking. Oh, come on. I don't know why we're getting this internet lag here. I'm on Wi-Fi. I should be fine. All right, all right, all right. Enlightenment age. Looks like we're definitely going to take our metal. And he's got diamonds, so we're definitely attacking this guy. We'll just go ahead and come from this side. 
And we're going to let our tanks take out some of these defenses on the outside before I send them to the town center. Otherwise, we're going to produce about a thousand defending soldiers and it's not going to go well. Okay, so sending them to the town center now. Go ahead and get the drop our two little guys on the trade good factory here. Try to get some cider and hopefully some diamonds. Alright, well that went pretty well. And he does have 500 oil. I would like to get that too. Where is it though? Ah, up here in the corner. Well, we'll see if our tanks can live long enough to head up there and take it out. I think we can. I think we got this. Oh, unless they make a giant circle past the cannon towers. <laughs> Wow, my dog is going crazy right now. I don't know if you could hear him puffing and puffing over there. <laughs> yeah, I think he saw another dog outside, so he feels the need to bark. Anyway, we're getting this oil, and once this is down, we will end the battle. Come on, then. Tanks take so long to kill any resources. They did a good job making the oil... Uh, refinery or well or whatever have a lot of hit points so it takes forever to kill close enough though we got a lot of it okay and we got two cider and three furs so that's pretty good all right so i'm gonna get our new army trained up again i don't really use the factory troops right now since i'm trying to save oil all right so on the town center, Global Age is next, and this is the picture. So it's got a cool looking little tank, another plane, some generals. <laughs> the Global Age is coming soon. So that's all you get for now for that. Um, okay, I think I'm going to show another attack. As you can see, I am using the training blessing. See right here, training blessing. Thir lasts for 30 minutes, decreases the time it takes for your barracks troops to be trained. <clears throat> so it doesn't affect the factory, but it is awesome. That combined with being the French nation, you get to attack consistently. So I'm not editing the video or anything, it just doesn't take very long at all to train your army. So we'll do one more attack, and then we'll wrap it up for today, since we've got much else to do anyway. Oh, I do have a mercenary camp filled with... Uh, I've got two of those giant fire-breathing tanks, <laughs> or flamethrower tanks, but uh, I haven't found any base worth enough metals to use them in attack, so I'm kind of hanging on to those. Alright, let's see. Yeah, see, not even worth attacking this guy. I really need somebody with a lot of oil, or worth a lot of metals. Something special. I'm going to use my mercenary and my general, and my war tactics. Because those things take hours to freaking charge. <laughs> Come on, domination. Let's go. I'm very impatient. Wow, level 157. Looks like he's maxed about everything. Jesus. I don't understand how there's so many players that have everything maxed and are so far below me in medals. If you have everything maxed and you have nothing else to do in the game except try and increase your medals, get to the higher league. So I don't understand why there's so many max players so low in medals. It doesn't make any sense. But, you know... Whatever. I will reach 3,200 medals soon. As soon as I get my army maxed for industrial age, I'm going to go back to pushing. That's going to be the goal. But for now, I'll do whatever we can do and just try. Ah, I guess that was no opponent found. I'm also, I, I did play a couple levels of the new single player map. It's pretty difficult actually, so maybe when I have a shield, I'll record a video and do some attacks on that. If you guys want to see that walkthrough, let me know in the comments. If it's not something you care to see, then I won't do it, but let me know. 
And we're searching for opponents. Still. It's crazy that this takes so long. Now it used to just be instant, but meh. Alright, so here we go. Level 129, Industrial Age. He has pretty much nothing. It's not even worth attacking, but I'm going to do it anyway because I'm bored and I hope we can win. Alright, so we get through this wall. we got to let our tanks kill that cannon tower before we send it to the town center. Otherwise, that thing will eat us alive. They just do so much damage to the tanks. Okay. So now we're going for the town center. That should be fine. And of course, I want to make sure I get the trade goods over here. So I'm going to drop my infantry over there. Got a little bit of metal that time. Got the town center. The quick victory is ours. That's all we need. Okay. And you can see that I uh, my bonus went up from 66,000 to 84. That's because up until I lost that attack, I was actually over 2,400 medals again. So my reward increased. Alright, so. So just let me know in the comments if you guys want me to play this the Viking Conquest. You can see there's a few different attacks here or missions. And I did one of them already. It was difficult though. Um, they've got a pretty decent rewards. 100,000, 150,000. So yeah, let me know if you want me to do a walkthrough on those single player maps or not. So anyway, appreciate you watching the videos. I hope you liked it. I'll be back with another one tomorrow for